Hello everybody, this is Intrepid83 and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VIII. Alright, let's get a, a different... there we go. That map takes up too much space. Anyways. <laughs> Alright, so it has come... The, the time has come. We were officially able to draw 300 triples from Odin last episode, which means we now have 400 of them in stock. Which means, as promised, we would, if that was, I were able to do that, we would be giving Renoa her own stock of magic, specifically dedicated towards her angel wing. Let me break. Uh, this is magic that I may swap in and out. Um, like if I'm not going to have her use angel wing, uh, then I'll probably just have a regular junctions or that kind of stuff. So this is just basically to give her a, a quick option to switch back and forth between, or at least quicker than uh, going through one at a time and uh, transferring out all of the spells that I don't want her to cast, kind of thing. So yeah. Alright, so first of all, uh, let's get started. Uh, first of all, the I want to the first spell I want to get after get well obviously after the triples is get is to get to 100 auras. So let's uh, hmm how do we want to do this? You know, what, let's uh, let's get this all sorted out like this, um, and then we'll transfer. Yeah, we'll switch the junctions from Zell to Ren from Zell and Renoa well, between them. There we go. Which now, Renoa should have nothing. She doesn't know she's got any magic. And there we go. Alright, so I think Irvin had the triples. Yes, he does. Let's give those to Renoa. There we go. So that's one. Nine more to go. Alright, so first for the auras, we need to call a shop. Call the yes, their pet, pet shop. And we need to buy 10 more power wrists, or hypno crowns, whichever you prefer. We got a nice discount there of uh, 50,000 gil, I believe. So there we go. We got those, and I, while I'm here, I actually want to buy five more amnesia greens. So this should be all we need for the rest of the game, but if not, well, we'll uh, cross that bridge when we get to it. But all right, so that's that. Now with that, we want to use the tool refine ability here to refine those. Power wrists into aura stones. Uh, let's let's be a little conservative here. Let's uh, do that, and then uh, give these to Renoa. Just so we don't waste them, kind of thing. You know, it'd be nice to have a few extra auras to, that we can just throw at people at each other, kind of thing, literally. <laughs> so there we go, and then that, and then. Give me the last, the last bit there. Alright, so that's two spells. We got triple and auras. Next up are the hastes. And this, we're going to be card modding the Kiros card into three accelerators. And from that, we use the time magic refine ability here. And we want to refine one accelerator into 100 haste. And there we go. And. As for the other accelerators, they actually, well, let's take a look at what they do. I think I, I mentioned it before, but in case I didn't, or in case... There we go. Yeah, it teaches a Guardian Force the Auto Haste ability. So we actually want to teach that to two Guardian Forces. So let's uh, use those Amnesia Greens on Shiva. Let's see, what can we get rid of here? Um... Yeah, I think the best bet. I'm gonna, I'm gonna probably put a, a more of a lean on the uh, the GF and draw commands here rather than the magic and item. So yeah, just so well, if we've got an injunction, then we can draw, we can summon her, and you can still draw magic as well. That's how I uh, figure that's probably the best way to go. So let's unlearn item. Uh, yep. And the next one is Carbuncle, and we want to have him forget. Uh, might as well have him forget the vitality bonus since we don't need that in. Uh, well, we've got Cactuar, so I think it's safe to unlearn vitality bonus here. And there we go. So with that, let's get the accelerators. Give one to Shiva to get auto haste, and one to Carbogo for the other one. So now we have three Guardian Forces with the auto haste ability. Uh, point of interest: uh, the auto haste, if you have it equipped, it makes you immune to the slow and stop statuses as well. So. Definitely a, a good bonus, an added bonus there. Oh, and one more thing, we actually want to use that Luck J scroll we got from Odin last time, and we actually want to give that to Diablos. 
So let's see, I'm actually going to have him forget the HP plus 80%, because it is overkill, so yeah, we probably won't be using it, so yeah. Again, if you choose to use a, to have him forget a different ability, you know, I'd suggest holding on to GF and draw kind of thing, but uh, yeah, so. And now Diablos has the Luck J ability learned, Luck Junction ability learned. All right, so with that, now let's get, uh, let's get, let's transfer, well, hang on a second, let's, uh, let's do this. Let's make sure that both Squall and Selfie are go, or topped up on that stuff. Uh, let's make this a bit easier on myself here. All right, there we go. All right, so we want to transfer 50 Cura... Oh, we want to transfer 100 Curagas to Renoa, but we'll be doing it 50 from each. So 50 from Squall and 50 from Selfie. Next up, we want to do the Asunas. We want to transfer 50 of those here. One. There we go, and 50 for the squall. Next up is regen. Let's give her 50 of those. And then for selfie, give the other 50. And then life. There. And there. And where's reflect? There it is. I'm only doing this as needed. Um, these are the first spells that we will be going after to uh, get them caught, get uh, Selfie and Squall uh, back up to 100 for each of them. So yeah. All right, and with that, I think it's time that I actually took care of some junctions and I'll be back when I'm done. All right, I'm all done and here's what we've got. For Zell, he doesn't have anything junctioned. Uh, Squall and Selfie will be the primary, uh, I guess, uh, party members for while well, we're doing this episode. So for Squall, he has Ifrit, Siren, Brothers, Carbuncle, Leviathan, Doom Train, Bahamut, and Eden with Meteor Junction to HP, Regen to Vitality, Pain to Magic, Reflect to Spirit, Triple to Speed, Ultimate to Evasion, Aura to Luck, uh, and Bio and Berserk on status defense. For commands and abilities, draw, recover, magic with vitality plus 40%, magic plus 40%, magic plus 60%, and spirit plus 40%. Alright, and then for Selfie, she has Kezagodol, Shiva, Diablos, Pendamona, Cerberus, Alexander, Cactuar, and Tonberry. With Meteor Junction to HP, Regen to Vitality, Pain to Magic, Reflect to Spirit, Triple to Speed, Ultima to Evade, and Aura to Luck. And of course, Bio and Berserk on status defense. For commands and abilities, she has Draw Revive Magic with Vitality plus 60%, Magic plus 40%, Spirit plus 40%, and Encounter None. Uh, Encounter None and Mug will be uh, swapping in and out here, so yeah. But uh, Encounter None is until we get to where we need to be, and then Mug will come in, so as needed kind of thing. So, alright, and with that, let's go for the first restocking, I guess you could say. <laughs> All right, so first up, we're actually going to go somewhere where... I think I mentioned that I wanted to show you where it was earlier in the LP, and coincidentally, this is a, a good opportunity to do so. So let's let's go take a look. We've already been there once, but not... Not with these... Uh, uh, this party. Uh, you'll see what I mean. I think I mentioned it while we were doing the Obel Lake side quest. Uh, whoops, a little too far east here. We gotta go over here. Oops. Oh. Where's the where's the pass? Uh, it's somewhere around here. I think I found it. There it is. Get out and get in there. Remember this place? Yeah, this is where Laguna and uh, company were shooting that movie. So yeah. Anyways, I'm just gonna stay up here because it's the closest to the exit. So let's get mug equipped on selfie. 
All right, so here we are, I am expecting to, I'm hoping to run into, well, I'm gonna be looking to run into a Mesmerize. I believe you can run into Mesmerizes or, and Bite Bugs here. Um, looking for Mesmerize, so I'll be back when I find one. Right, and there it is, the Mesmerize. I just had a battle with a bite bug uh, while trying to do this, so I decided to KO Zell just to help speed things up here. All right, so the Mesmerize. This thing, well, if you like, you can actually uh, junction slow or blind to your status attack if you like. Um, don't need to, so that's why I didn't, but those are just the, uh, I guess you could say, the top two susceptibilities that this thing has. I think it's immune to sleep, so yeah. If you're gonna go that route, I'd probably say slow is probably the best pet or blind, so yeah. Anyways, so we're here, so let's start drawing. We're gonna be getting Kiragas, Asunas, and Lives here, so we're gonna start drawing these until uh, the Selfie and Scrawl are, are back up to 100 each, and I'll be back when I'm done. Alright, looks like we're all uh, stocked up. Alright, so that's that, so let's have Selfie try and mug it now. It does not have a lot of HP, so that's why I'm having a Selfie attack. And sometimes that'll happen if you attack it, the horn will break off, so yeah. Alright, six Mesmerized Blades, that's all we need. Well, technically we only need five, but six will do. Alright, so that's that. We've got Kiragas as soon as lives. And now let's refine with the Elmag refine ability here. I want to refine those mesmerized blades into regions. Let's be a little careful here so we don't go over, though I don't think it matters, but it's not all that much, but uh, Ten, and then we can give a full one to Squall. Now, obviously, for the Kiragas, we could have bought uh, tents for that, but I figured, yeah, what the heck, let's do it this way. It's uh, easy enough, quick enough, so yeah. And it doesn't cost any money, so. <laughs> and I just want to make sure that this is all sorted out properly. Alright, so that's that. So let's get to. Encounter none back on, and let's go off to the next area. Going after Reflex this time. There's actually three, uh, two different areas you can get for this uh, next one. You can go where I'm going, which is well, I'm going back to uh, a familiar area near Dullet. Uh, you're looking for the Adamantoys over there on the beach. Uh, so, well, the only fight Adamantoys and uh, Fastidio Callot Fs, I believe, down there. So yeah, you're looking for Adamantoys. Uh, but you can also go to the beaches uh, around the central continent as well. I think you run on the beaches there, and I think there's actually a higher chance that you run into them there. Um, but I figured, eh, let's just go to a familiar area. And then uh, another option is the next area after this. So let's, uh, let's uh, I'm just going to go here. So yeah. Um, so let's, uh, oh yeah, we already did that. So yeah, I guess we're all set. So let's get rid of Encounter None. Uh, do we need to mug? No, we do not. So let's... Yeah, let's use alert. There we go. Alright, so we'll uh, try to find some adamant toys and I'll be right back. Alright, and there they are. Alright, so this may be. Well, 
One reason why you might want to go to the center beaches instead is because you can actually run into a battle with only one of these, whereas here it's guaranteed to be two if you do. Alright, so here we actually want to draw and get to restocked on Reflex here, so let's, uh, I'll take care of that, and I'll be back when both Selfie and Squall are back up to, uh, 100 of us. Alright, looks like we're all back up, so... And yeah, so, uh, these guys at high levels definitely do have the ability to put Berserk on you, and I think they, well, they tried to cast it on Selfie, and I believe that Sandstorm ability can inflict Berserk as well, I think. So, yeah, but, so, that's why we have it Junction to our status defense. And the reason why I have Bio Junction to a status defense as well had to do with the Bite Bugs. When they're at high levels, they can actually poison you as well, so, yeah. So, that's why I had that. Alright, so we've got the uh, Reflex. So let's get Encounter None back on and go after the next one. Alright, this next one, probably gonna have to modify my, modify my junctions a bit. Probably not too much, more or less, just the... Uh, I think just the uh, status defense junctions and I think maybe elemental as well. But, uh, We'll do what is needed once we get there. And there's the, uh, there's the bridge. There's the familiar plateau. Alright, and let's transfer some meteors over to Renault now. Alright, so yeah, I'm gonna modify my junctions a bit, and actually, you know what, I'll just do it on screen here. Alright, let's see, uh, because I think the only thing I have to, uh, modify is indeed the, uh, oh, just the status ones. Alright, I didn't do the elemental ones here, so, alright. Just the status ones, alright, so we need sleep, silence, break, death, oh yeah, and I had the command, the abilities was, uh, I wanted to modify as well. Uh, for squalls of vitality, let's do magic, spirit, and auto haste. That solves the problem of being immune, being susceptible to the stop status from the. I think it's the forbiddens that do that to you. So yeah. All right. So for selfie, let's get her junct junctioned. Likewise, sleep, silence, break, and death. And for abilities, vitality, magic, spirit, and auto haste. Alright, sweet. Alright, so we'll go off and find a ruby dragon, and I'll be back when I find one. And there it is, alright. As usual, let's get rid of the... Uh, Cockatrice to make things a bit easier on ourselves. Pretty much. Yeah, well. Is that it? That's it. Alright. Now let's start drawing uh, meteors. So, yeah, uh, Ruby Dragon is another enemy you can get the reflex fun from, so if you don't want to do it from the Adamantoys, this is an option as well. So. Alright, so I'm going to get uh, Squall and Selfie back up to 100 meteors each, and I'll be back when I'm done. Alright, looks like we're all up to 100, and we are awesome. One thing you might notice about uh, the fact that there's only two people here is that Ruby Dragon will never use breath, I believe. So yeah, as long as there is two party members or less, he will not use breath. So. Alright, so back up to 100 meteors for Squall and Selfie, for both of them, and now, so that leaves what? So we've got one, four, eight, nine, we're missing one spell for Renoa. Oops, let's get Encounter None back on. We don't have to go far for this one. 
It's an enemy I've actually warned you about before. But now we actually are looking for it. Yeah, no, it's not the Melboro. <laughs> We've already looked for it. <laughs> right, we actually just want to drop down off the cliff here. And it's right along the cliffs here, so let's get out. Get some cliffs here. All right, let's uh, take care of junctions again. Uh, what do we? Okay, this one I think we do want to uh, do the elemental junctions here. All right, so let's do Thunderdaga, Tornado, Holy, and for a little extra life. And for here, I do want. Does he have slow? No, he doesn't. I'm gonna get from somebody else. So we want Bio. Confuse, break, death. That sounds good. And then, uh, do we need to do anything about that? Uh, let's do draw, recover magic. Yep, vitality, magic, spirit, and we want mug and squall. Alright, let's just finish off his. I think Zell has the slows. Yep. And there we go. Let's get him sorted out. Squall as well. Alright, slows. And I just did that. Alright, for some for selfie. Alright. Thundaga, tornado, holy, and life. And. Eh. If you want, you can put sleep on here, but, uh, oh wait, I gotta, oh yeah, <laughs> oops, alright, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, it's, wait a second, did I mess this up again? Oh, okay, I guess I didn't, I just, <laughs> think I did, because I'm so used to it. Alright, uh, confuse, break, and death, and just to make sure I did that right on Squall as well, yep, yeah, alright. Vitality, magic, spirit, draw, revive magic, and we want mug on her as well. And yeah, so let's give Renoa 100 full lives now. And a selfie as well. Now there's an enemy you may run into here as well. Uh, along with the Toramas. It's the only two enemies you run You run into Toramas and this other enemy called a Turtopod. If you do, it, uh, so hang on, make sure you have, uh, you may want to, uh, get, uh, you know, give your, have one person with, that does not have, a, you know, max everybody else on Curas, and then just have Selfie or Squall, uh, uh, have, uh, be the one to, uh, fill the, uh, the, the, the uh, top it up kind of thing, because the turtopods, uh, you can draw curas from them. So yeah, if I run into them, that'll probably uh, drop some of that. But uh, all right, so uh, we're looking for the Toranas here, so I'll be back when I find one. All right, and there it is. I think I actually went a little too far away because I ran into a behemoth there, but uh, I just ran from that battle. And it did run into the tur turtopods, so as you can see, they do have a kill spell, so... Oh boy, here we go with the Toramas. All right, so as far as the Toramas go, I'm actually surprised Odin didn't come in. When I was test running this, he came in twice! <laughs> so, all right, so... All right, let's pause it here just so things don't get too out of hand here. All right, so the Taramas, uh, we're actually looking to mug them. Uh, probably going to have to mug two of them for what we need. We need five regen rings, and you can mug four of them from them at this level, uh, at uh, high levels, uh, level 30 plus kind of thing. So, yeah. I um, think I might as well go into this now because I haven't had an opportunity to, to so between level, uh, bet expecting an HP uh, between uh, 24,000 to 32,000. Uh, the draw list is draw, demi, and life. Uh, neutral to all elements, 90% susceptible to slow, 80% susceptible to sleep, 20% susceptible to petrify, blind, zombie, doom, and slow petrification. 25% uh, chance you can mug four regen rings from it. 75% uh, chance it'll drop two to three re regen rings. And a 24% chance it'll drop one to two moonstones. 
its attacks. It's got level 5 death. Basically, it means anybody that's, whose level is a multiple of 5 will be instantly killed unless you have the unless you have death junction to your status defense unless you're you know, immune to it kind of thing immune to the death uh, death status so yeah that's what i've got there uh it can cast death itself just regular death um then there's confuse as well uh it can petrify you uh that one's a little further down the line but i figured to mention it anyway um and it can uh, cast bio as well it can cast demi it can cast meteor it can cast holy it can cast isuna arrow thunder dispel and it's also got a physical attack now with the blaster attack and the physical attack it only uses those once it loses 60 percent 60 percent of its hp once it loses 60 percent of its hp it'll uh, stand up and it'll stop casting everything else except and it'll just start using exclusively blaster and its physical attack so yeah and the blaster attack can inflict petrification on you and from what i hear it actually alternates between physical damage and magic damage so it's uh it's uh, it fluctuates in that regard so yeah all right so all we need to do here is just basically mug it until it until we can get those regen rings and that's why both squall and selfie have mug equipped so let's, uh, let's do this I will not be using the trigger of the Squall, even though it's got quite a bit of HP. Oh, sweet, we got it. First try. So, with that, let's get out of here. I thought the oh yeah, I don't have alert on. Oops, not in this battle anyway. Steel. Oh, that's steel. And there we go. All right. Obviously, the alternative to getting the uh, five regen rings would be to card and then card mod. Either play cards for 50 Chimera cards, or card 50 Chimera cards, and then card mod them to get the regen rings. Kind of so. Now, if this. Uh... Well, there's level 5 death, it should miss us. <laughs> yeah, it did. Cast it on all of us. It's a multi target attack as well, so. Can we leave, please? Run, you can do it, guys. Run! There we go. <laughs> I was about to say, all right, if you, you desire the battle, so... Alright, now, with the regen rings, let's, uh, let's do this first. Where's the full life? There we go. Let's go. There we go. Now, let's set the against the Elmag Refine to refine the regen rings into full lives. And there we go. Renoa officially has her very own set of angel wing magic, so to speak. So, there we go. That's all we need. Obviously, you can swap Meteor for whatever spell you wish to wish her to ca cast. So, yeah. So, basically, nine spells that she doesn't cast, plus one that you do want her to cast, kind of thing. Alright, and with that, uh, yeah, we're a little late into the video here, but I figured it's been long enough that I finally actually do this, rather than just talk about it. Now that Siren is at level 100, you could have done this all the way back then, but eh, I had other things I uh, needed to do, and uh, well, I figured, well, not to mention how many times I said it, I was talking about it, but I wouldn't do it. So I used the Tool of Refine Magic, Tool of Refine Ability. Once Siren is at level 100, she can refine 100 Curse Spikes into one Dark Matter. And what does the Dark Matter do? Let's find out. 
Moving at the back. Yep, yeah, there it is. Teaches Quistus her ultimate to blue magic spell, Shockwave Pulsar. Uh, you know what? I think I'll actually show you what it looks like. I'll tack it on to the end of this episode here, uh, which means I would need to bring Red or Quistus in. Let's bring her in. Like, oops, my light jokes. Just want to swap them. There we go. All right, let's go. Uh, oh, hang on. Uh, yeah, I'll uh, work out the junctions here, and I'll uh, be right back. <laughs> 